Hey guys, so if you've been watching my streams, you will probably know that I am in dire need of gold and resources. So as a result, I took this time to run a bunch of platinum fields. I had a lot of tickets sitting there and I wanted to share with you guys what the results was. And at the end of this video, I'll also include a guide, a quick guide on how to run platinum fields with the most optimal route in my opinion. I'd say that a lot of the videos out there have another route that I don't think is the best to run, and I'll explain a little bit about that later, but let's dive into what I ended up getting. So if you didn't know Platinum Fields, you run them because you want to get the foraging materials, these flowers and these mushrooms, right? So I will go over each of them uh, individually, and I actually have a spreadsheet for the numbers that I end up getting from my runs. I ran a total of 15 platinum fields. Um, I had more than that, but I just wanted to have a nice little round number um, to show you guys. And this was what I ended up getting. Of course, I started with some flowers in my inventory already. Um, so I took the um, initiative to actually just subtract those values from this value right here. So these are the values, the raw numbers for what I got specifically from the 15 platinum fields that I ran. So as you see, about, about 27k wildflowers, 13k crude mushrooms, 17k shy wildflowers, 8k fresh mushrooms, um, 3.8k, so 3.9k bright wildflowers, and 1.8k exquisite mushrooms. And totaling from all of these combined, and I am on the NA West Mari server right now, so NA West Market, this will sell for about 91k, 91.5k gold which is a decent amount i think a while back maybe if i had capitalized on the kind of market maybe a month ago or so a month a month and a half i probably would have gotten quite a bit more than this but it still isn't bad gold for things that's just sitting in your inventory right so if you guys have the you know platinum tickets just sitting in your inventory make sure you go and do them because it is a lot of gold but how do you do that? Well, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of the guides out there already, so I'll go over this quickly. But what you want to have is ideally, of course, not even ideally, for sure, you want to have level 30 foraging. And I worked pretty hard to get this uh, recently, as you can see. I used to be excavating, and then I went into hunting, and now I did foraging just for this. You want level 30 because you want this green thumb skill, which allows you to grab materials, so harvest materials faster, because in the platinum fields, you only have a limited amount of time to harvest them. And this also increases the drop rates for the special materials as well. Um, so you definitely want to have your foraging level 30 to be able to do the platinum fields well. Along with that, you're going to want to have, of course, super armor on your foraging tool, super armor on your logging tool, and super armor on your mining tool, because you will have to do all three of these. Now, you only need to do the mining and logging really at the beginning and like two points in the um, run, but I'll kind of go into that a little bit later. So when you first get into the platinum fields, you have a 15 second grace timer where the timer doesn't start counting down. And in that time, you ideally want to look for all of the pure white herbs, the altites, and the cypresses, the cypress trees um, that are in the map. So just go ahead, open your map, type in white, and then uh, in the search bar, and then click on the herb that pops up then you can type in altite and then you can click on that and then cypress and you can click on that and then those will highlight the relevant resources on the map the reason why you want to do that is because when you start off the platinum fields you want to get two of those special resources that get dropped by these material veins when you get those two you will get an increase in the speed at which you mine for resources so get resources and two it'll decrease the amount of durability that you take a hit to on your weapon when or your um, tool when you're doing your harvesting but the reason why you get the two here is because you will be getting two later on to be able to refresh the resources in the map so i'm going to put the optimal route here on the screen right now for you to take a look at you're going to be going down this route to collect all of the herbs after you drop the two special materials back at the base you get these buffs you're going to go through this route to collect all of the herbs 
and you can ignore everything else at this point. Now, when you're done with this route, what you're going to do is go back to looking for these special veins. So the pure white herbs again, the altites and the cypress trees. And when you do that, you again take the two special materials that drop from those and take it back to the base. What that'll do is it'll refresh the entire map of its resources and you get to go through the same route again over to get the materials. Now, there's a little bit of a difference in this route, though, for my experience and what I think is the optimal way to do this, because what happens is a cave opens up with all purple materials when you go in there. So you want to be able to clear that entire cave out. But what other people say to do is to go and clear that cave last when you have about a minute and a half to two minutes left. And I don't really think that this should be the case because you want to ideally clear out that cave of every single flower that's in there. But if you leave a certain amount of time left, you're like, oh shoot, I'm going to leave a minute and a half, two minutes. Sometimes you might get there late and you might miss out on some materials in there. So what I actually recommended doing is actually taking this route on the screen right now and then going directly into the cave when you get to the first opening, go in there clear out the cave then you could exit on the bottom right or the right side portal because what you can do is when you exit the right side portal you can take a look at this raft that comes sailing down to connect the island with the rest of the map if you see that 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 uh that little raft hasn't gotten here yet then you can collect the herbs in this area and as you wait for the little raft to come down if you see that the raft has come down, then you just beeline it to the raft and cross over to the other island, off the other side of the island. And then you will proceed down this path as shown on the screen. I think this is a much better way to do it as opposed to the other ways that the other YouTubers tell you to do it because, again, I think you maximize on your resources this way by making sure, one, you don't miss out on the purple, um, the purple flowers in the cave, but two, normally you don't really have that much time to get to this little island. And waiting for the raft is valuable time that you're missing out on. So if you're coming out on this right side, you get to see A, well, is the craft raft here or not? If it is, then I'll just move past it. You're pretty much not losing any efficiency at all when you're doing this. Or B, the raft hasn't arrived here yet. Then you can spend the time to grab the extra materials on this island and then leave to proceed back onto the route. This is my ideal way of doing it, and I think it's way more efficient than what the other people say to do. But yeah, you're just gonna do this until the timer runs out, and then you get your materials. So that's about it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out in figuring out what route you should take, as well as showing you just how many resources there are you know, available from these platinum fields that you're missing out on if you're not using them. So, yep. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash misoxshiru starting at 10 p.m. PST every night as well as multi-streaming on YouTube so you can catch me on both platforms. But hopefully I see y'all on my stream. And if I don't, hopefully I'll see y'all on the next video. All right, guys. Peace out.